And over the last two, three years, they've been a really difficult team. They've got good spirit, they've got some good players, they work well together, they've got good coaches. And as you say, they've got a good crowd behind them and they're a tough team to beat on their own patch. And We're, we're missing a few players up front, but I've talked to Jim just now when we stood watching the lads train this morning and, and putting a few final touches to things. We're, we're confident we've got a good group of lads, we've got good depth in our squad and we've got some real good players and, w and we know that we can go there and give it a good shot. And you obviously get your England Saxons forwards back as well, which is important. Yeah, and, and that's part of what we talk about when we've got those lads back as well as, as some of the other young lads, we, we, we've got a strong squad and we can compete, so uh, I think we feel more confident than we have done in the past at this period, but that's only in the back of your mind, you've got to go there, you've got to, you've got to produce the goods and then we've got to put in a real good performance to get over um, a top Exeter team. We've got a group of lads that we've worked with more or less for the last two or three years um, and I think we're reasonably happy where we are, everybody's playing well, everybody's fit and we're working hard, so I think we're not far off. As I say, you're always looking around to see what else is about. Can you bring people in to strengthen for periods of the, of the season when you're a bit short on numbers? So that's the sort of thing we're always on the lookout for, and if the right person turns up, then we then we make a move. But nothing too close at the moment. No, we, we're in a good position at the minute. Atmosphere must be pretty good at the moment. Eight wins in a row, it's not bad. Is that eight wins? Oh, sheiks, I've just been enjoying winning. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Uh, boys are getting along, doing their, their part, and we're enjoying it. And uh, obviously you got Exeter this weekend. What do you make to them? I know you scored down there last year, didn't you? So it must be happy yeah. memories for you. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to the game. Um, it's gonna, they're going to be a tough team, and hopefully the weather holds up for us to so we can play. What do you remember about that game last January? Do you remember much about it? Obviously, it was a, it was quite forward dominated the second half, but you obviously got over in the first half there. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We defended well in that game, um, but uh, when when it opened up for us, we took our opportunities. Mm. Obviously, that was a that was a nice bit of interplay between you and Ben Foden. I think we remember. It's nice to see yeah, he's on the he's on the comeback trail as well now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it'll be exciting times when he gets back. But. Um, yeah, uh, I just remember just getting the ball and finishing it off. Um, Foods done all the hard work. And for you, how are you feeling about your own form at the moment? Um, yeah, it's all right. Um, you know, getting there and uh, still, what we only really half season and uh, and I still just enjoying this opportunity to play and uh, hopefully I give it my all. So sort of second season at Saints now. Has this one been more? Do you feel it's been more comfortable, more productive for you than last year? Uh, yeah, in a way, um, it it has been more comfortable, but. Um, and then there's always uh, competition there uh, in the outside backs and uh, yeah, I've just been trying to do my part and trying to be as good as I can get.